Valentine's Day is Wednesday, and if you haven't thought to make a dinner reservation somewhere, all is not lost. There are always the places that don't take reservations, where it's first come, first serve, and where the spontaneous among us might still get in. Showing up early or late might be a good strategy, or else be prepared to spend time at the bar waiting for a table, or loitering awkwardly in the restaurant's entryway or waiting area. Valentine's Day is the second most popular holiday to dine out, sandwiched between Mother's Day 1st and Father's Day 3rd, according to the National Restaurant Association. A quarter of Americans are expected to eat in a restaurant on February 14th, the association says. If a home-cooked meal is more your style, there are still spots left for a Valentine's pop-up dinner hosted by Big Mouth Pasta and held in a Madison residence overlooking Lake Mendota. Kelly and Damien Messery started their pop-up business last year and have hosted events at Look Kitchenette, Matcha Tea Company, Estreone, Robin Room, Gibson at a Million Day in Milwaukee. The Wednesday dinner is their eighth pop-up and their first on Valentine's Day. Seating for 12 will be at a communal table, so it's both intimate and welcoming at the same time, Kelly Messery said. Wine pairings will come with each of four courses, including the couple's signature homemade pasta. The main dish Wednesday is a choice between giant egg yolk ravioli with prosciutto, kale and romesco sauce, or slow braised beef ragu with Malbec wine sauce and hand-cut papard L.A. Messery calls herself a marketer turned pastry chef turned pasta chef, while her husband has a background in art and design. They both have restaurant backgrounds. The cost is $150 for two. As of Thursday, there were still seats available at 5.30 and 7.30. For the full menu, visit BigMouthPasta.com, or to reserve, email info at BigMouthPasta.com. No reservation Valentine's restaurant dining ideas include Alchemy, 1980 Atwood Avenue. This casual, cash-only pub elevates bar food with a kitchen that uses lots of good, local ingredients and puts out creative, and often health-conscious food. There's not a dud in sight. Co-owner Michael Randall said the bar's Valentine's Day can be fairly busy, but not overly so. Canteen, 111 South Hamilton Street. This highly stylized, but inexpensive taco shop on the Capitol Square has a fun and funky atmosphere and great cocktails, including down the rabbit hole with reposado tequila, aged in oak barrels, spiced orange liqueur, carrot, G fruit and fennel bitters. Canteen's tacos are equally creative. Swad, 6007 Monona Drive, Monona. Swad means tasty in Sanskrit, Hindi and Nepali, and this Indian restaurant is certainly that. Can't miss dishes include masala grilled fish, vegetable biryani and tender lamb vindaloo curry. Brasserie V, 1923 Monroe Street, Brasserie V offers a calm, relaxing setting and fruit that are impossible to improve upon. The menu is filled with fantastic choices, many of them healthy. If you or your significant other is a lover of Belgian beers, all the better. Co-owner Matt Van Ness said Valentine's Day is fairly busy, but not crazy busy. Himmel Julie, 318 State Street, a reliably good State Street standby, serving Nepalese food in a warm, cozy, casual setting. The Tarkari, a traditional vegetable stew and staple of a Nepalese tea, will never let you down. There are usually two to choose from. Greenbush Bar, 914 Regent Street, tucked away in the basement of the Italian Workmen's Club, the charming restaurant serves some of the best pizza in town, as well as solid Italian pastas, appetizers and salads. It's a favorite of many. Owner Anna Alberici said Valentine's Day is often one of the restaurant's busiest nights, but not always. Baraka, 1210 Williamson Street, the treasured East African restaurant can spice up Valentine's Day with its popular Dora Wat, a reddish-orange, slow-cooked stew with chicken and carrots and a blend of chilies and other spices common to Ethiopian food. The restaurant will offer a special cocktail and appetizers for Valentine's Day, said owner Marcos Ragasa. These spots are taking reservations and still had room as of Thursday. Jardin, 829 East Washington Avenue. Jardin is one of the finest, but least appreciated restaurants in Madison. Mysteriously, it's rarely crowded even though the braised lamb over Papard L.A. pasta is perfection. It drew well for restaurant week in January, but has been slow otherwise. It's not expected to fill up February 14th, said John Resk, who runs the restaurant. Mintmark, 1929 Winnebago Street, this newcomer has a talented chef at the helm. Valentine's Day calls for a sensational dessert, and Mintmark comes through with its molten gourmet cookie and buttery bass cake. The restaurant doesn't normally take reservations, but is making an exception for February 14th. Delectable in Vomfass, 3248 University Avenue, hosts dining events in an elegant yet unpretentious space in the rear of the store. The Valentine's Day culinary dinner theater called A Feast for Love has room for 42 people.
It's is a six-course meal that includes oysters Rockefeller, pork ragu and a porterhouse steak with cherry maletti reduction. Dinner for two with drink pairings is $150. Visit delectable.com to make reservations.